this right here is $10 billion. The second one's five. It gets cheaper after that. So this is Hopper. Hopper changed the world. This is Blackwell. It's okay, Hopper. 208 billion transistors. And so, so you can see, I can see, there, there's a small line between two dyes. This is the first time two dyes have abutted like this together in such a way that the two, the two dyes think it's one chip. There's 10 terabytes of data between it, 10 terabytes per second. So that these two, these two sides of the Blackwell chip have no clue which side they're on. There's no memory locality issues, no cache issues. It's just one giant chip. And it goes into two types of systems. The first one is form fit function compatible to Hopper. And so you slide on Hopper and you push in Blackwell. That's the reason why one of the challenges of ramping is going to be so efficient. There are installations of Hoppers all over the world. They could be, you know, the same infrastructure, same design. And so this is a Hopper version for the current HGX configuration. And this is what the other, the second hopper looks like this. Now this is a prototype board. This is a fully functioning board. The gray CPU has a super fast chip to chip link. What's amazing is this computer is the first of its kind where this much computation, first of all, fits into this small of a place. Second, it's memory coherent. They feel like they're just one big happy family working on one application together.